One of the biggest joys I get is seeing people find their why, W-H-Y, their passion, their reason for being, um, finding their niche in their careers and their academic worlds um, that help them feel like they're living their, their highest and best self. For Angela Byers Winston, educating others is more than a career. I believe that, like for many people, teaching is a calling. It's an opportunity for me as a higher ed educator to really use the life experiences I've had, the research that I do, to meet students where they're at and help them find ways to make the world a better place. But that wasn't always so. She came to San Diego State to become an accountant. I was um, convinced I was going to be in a power navy blue suit uh, at the head of some mahogany table running other people's money and business operations. Until her first accounting class. And barely got out of that class with a C and I had never had a round letter grade in my life. <laughs> So she made her psychology minor her new major. As a psychology major undergraduate here at a large predominantly white institution, there were hardly any other students of color, certainly no faculty of color. Um, and so I found my, my why about using psychology in a culturally responsive way through the Africana Studies Department. And that made all the difference. As an African American student, I felt completely uh, held here as an incubating space that allowed me to grow and nourished me, uh, saw me beyond the things that I saw in myself. And so when I think about my undergraduate experience, I think about something that Dr. Maya Angelou said, and she said that you may not always remember what people said, but you'll always remember how they made you feel. And so I think about how San Diego State University made me feel as an undergraduate. I felt seen, I felt heard, and I felt valued. It felt freeing. What San Diego State gave me, it sounds very cliche, but wings to fly. It gave me a sense of myself that was bigger than San Diego State, that I had something to say that only I could say. To this day, she supports the spaces that helped her thrive. I'm involved in the African Student Union and the Black Resource Center because those are the two entities that made me who I am. The places where she found community at an institution that once was less diverse. These incubating places where folk can be nurtured, they can be poured into, they can be affirmed without question, without any kind of compromise or any kind of demand for their uh, proving of their excellence that they belong. When you walk in the door at Black Resource Center as a black student, there's no qualification except you are. You just get to be. And I think in a place like many of these large institutions who are doing fantastic jobs educating our students. These counter spaces are literally, literally hollowed ground that become the counter space for correcting the initial omission of me at the beginning. Through her research examining cultural influences on academic and career development, she hopes to ensure a more inclusive future for women and individuals from underrepresented racial and ethnic groups in the sciences engineering, and medicine. I think a lasting impact of my research is really to help create the biomedical sciences um, environments in a way that people who look like me can flourish. That means that mentoring matters, that culturally responsive mentoring matters, that means that faculty who teach and uh, train and, and educate and research uh, future students or future scientists aren't dissuaded or um, distracted by race and gender and other social identities that people assume make me incompetent for science. And so that, I hope that that's part of my legacy, is that the biomedical sciences as a whole in general are more hospitable and effective in training people who look like me. It is, after all, her calling. I stay committed to the fact that there may be one part of the corner of the world where my light can shine and make a difference for someone else.